this is an amazing story too. Not too long since, well, they were nearly absolutely out finished, mm -hmm. but no. The Grimethorpe Colliery Brass Band, who of course became internationally known after featuring in the film Brassed Off, have brought home the silverware once more after winning the national championships at the Royal Albert Hall for the second year running. Yes, they're well and truly back. The event was a triumph for Yorkshire with four bands from the county placed in the top six. Charlotte Leeming is with the triumphant band now. Charlotte. Thank you, Ian. Yes, there's a bit of a taster of the sound that made Grimethorpe famous. And the boys returning from Paris may not have brought home any silverware, but look at this Grimethorpe colliery band. Certainly didn't disappoint on Saturday. Royal Albert Hall, they were named the best, the champions of the nation. Isn't that right, Terry? That's For right. the second year <laughs> running, no less. Terry Webster, you are manager of the band. Just tell us what it was like to be defending champions, go in there and get it again. It's fantastic. I mean, a lot of pressure on the band to actually see if they could keep up Alan Withington's record of always winning back-to-back -back championships. And uh, we did that on Saturday and uh, by two clear points. Is it important to keep brass bands in the public eye and keep it as a, a surviving art form? Because you don't really have the funding these days, do you? It is. We're lucky we've got funding off Richard Budge of uh, Power Fuel, but... Uh, we're the elite, but a lot of the lesser bands are struggling really to get funds from the Arts Council, etc. I mean, that's right, after appearing in Brastoff, you really can fill those concert venues, can't you? So you're sort of the cream of the crop now. We are, yeah, we're at the top of uh, the game, really, and uh, a lot of people come to listen to us to learn and uh, see what they can see, you know, we're the best. And you put in a lot of practice, but I mean, uh, what gives you the edge, do you think, at something like that performance at the Royal Albert Hall? I think attention to detail and, and focusing on just that and, and basically everybody pulling in the same direction. Well, that is some trophy, I must say, and we must just give a mention to Michael, who the other guys have told me is the heartthrob of the band. He's the uh, Justin Timberlake, if you like. Michael, oh, he's getting a, a bit of heckling there. Michael, tell us what you did. Well, I'm the principal euphonium of the band and I had quite a big uh, solo within this test piece, which was 20 minutes long and I was awarded the best instrumentalist of the whole competition, uh, which was a, a great privilege to sort of receive. So double winners on Saturday, which makes up a bit, doesn't it, for England not winning the rugby final. And uh, you mustn't go away because the boys are going to be here a bit later on to play us out of the programme. Thank you very much, Charlotte, and congratulations to Grimethorpe Band. I call it the Colliery Band, it's now just Grimethorpe Band. Yeah, in a row, so let's leave you with the sound of the Grimethorpe Colliery Brass Band. Good night. Very good night. <laughs>